The following new energy profile is sponsored by Remington. I was encouraged to shoot by uh, two gentlemen who said that, hey, I, you're a little girl, I don't think you can shoot that target. Well, I took that as a challenge. And I decided that I was going to shoot out the middle of a target, which after a few days of practice, I was able to do. And from there, I went from 22 rifles to 22 pistols. And I loved going fast. And I loved action shooting, so I went into 38 revolvers. And <laughs> couldn't stop me there. I began shooting i core competitions. That's action shooting, so running gun, jumping over things, moving targets, everything like that. And that was my element. That's what I loved. Well, my first IRC, that's the International Revolver Championship. First one, after about three weeks of shooting, I go out there and I see this lady shooting. And I thought she was really pretty. And Annette Ison, she was so polite and she was an amazing shooter. And I'm like, I want to be like that when I grow up. I want to be just like that. <laughs> and then uh, the following year, I saw Julie Golub. And I noticed that she had a Smith & Wesson shirt on. So, bang, goal, right there. That's when I knew that I'm going to work really hard so I can accomplish that. From there, I became more involved with Smith & Wesson. I began to represent them. That has been such an amazing growing opportunity for me because with that, I got a lot of responsibility. Safety is the biggest, most important thing that you can have in your mind when it comes to firearms. And a big deal for me is getting women and children involved. And that means that they need to know gun safety and they need to not be afraid of something like a 22. In my own experience, I've encountered women and children who are like, guns, that's terrifying. And then after a little bit of persuasion, they come out to the range, see what it's all about, and they shoot and they love it. That's <laughs> one of the great things about having an individual right <laughs> here in America and uh, that the adults need to be able to gauge that. And my dad knew that my brother and I were both, both fairly mature, if I do say so myself. And uh, so he was able to tell us that, don't do this. And this isn't a matter of, hey, don't stay up past your bedtime because you're gonna be tired tomorrow. It's a matter of, this is safety, this is important, this can harm other people, this can harm yourself. So safety is huge and I feel that safety comes first and with that, that's encouraging other people to enjoy the sport. I do mock trial and one of the phrases that my mock trial coach would say is, this is all in the pursuit of excellence. So in the pursuit of excellence, I've pursued shooting and that has made me a better person in so many different ways. I was in Washington DC this past summer for the Youth Education Summit with the NRA and it was the best week of my life. We learned about history, legislature and gun rights, second amendment. Shooter ready. So I'm having fun with doing things that I know are gonna help me go further in life. Um, I'm taking all honors and AP courses in addition to um, three extra courses at the college. So um, that, those are in the evenings, so I'm able to balance that. Just a lot of time management. Uh, not too much caffeine, surprisingly enough. My mom doesn't let me near that stuff. <laughs> Men and women are different. They are different. And um, sometimes you equality and differences are, are different for me. I mean, I, I'm aware that I will never be a six foot four wrestling man. That I'm perfectly aware of that, but that, that doesn't mean that I'm not equal in other ways. Um, rights, huge, of course. Women are equal when it comes to rights, intelligence, all the way. And uh, there, there is a glass ceiling. And uh, we're just getting closer and closer to breaking that. Women in politics, they're really encouraging that political breakthrough, just as women like Julie Golub and Vera who are encouraging women in the shooting industry to break that glass ceiling. Ultimately, I'm looking at a political science major and then going on to law school. My mom kind of wants me to marry Prince Harry, but I'm really looking to become a Supreme Court justice, so it's kind of in the same echelons there. But um, really, I just want to help our country however I can. And I'm thinking that uh, in law, government, political science is going to be the way to go. My first International Revolver Championship is my first year, and I was so tired by the time that I finished the second day that um, my parents and some friends went out to Mexican food with me, and I fell asleep on my plate. Like, my, fa my face was literally in the food because I was so tired. <laughs> I had a great time, I was so tired. So, <laughs> that was my first experience of shooting. My mom's like, oh, she's never gonna wanna do this again. She's too tired. Steve, why did you make her do this? And then I woke up and like, is it time to shoot again? <laughs> with, with the beans dripping off my nose. <laughs> it's kind of funny, my mom, she will not shoot. She will not have guns, but she's all for Second Amendment. And it's just not her thing. 
which I love because she sees how much I enjoy it and she sees how much I love being at the range, helping other people, no gun safety, everything like that. So she's right there behind me with the sandwich and with Gatorade. My dad, he's just like, hey guys, at, at law enforcement, my daughter shoots guns too. So <laughs> my dad can do that. And he's very proud of me and he makes that clear. So I'm, I'm really glad that I'm able to make my parents proud by doing what I love and uh, succeeding in a sport like this.